Welcome everyone! In this video, we are in the Ultra Premiere, showcasing some more fun battles featuring Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz, quite strong in this meta, has a lot of play, and in all of the neutral situations that you may find yourself faced against with Mandibuzz, it actually performs extremely well due to its extreme bulk. Mandibuzz, uh, a very solid investment for any Ultra League uh, format. It performs amazing. You just really have to protect it from the Charmers. And that is why we are running Galarian Stunfisk on the safe swab. G-Fisk shuts down the Charmers quite well, I must say. And uh, there are even some double charm lines running rampant in this meta. And you better believe we RPS those double charm teams with, a, uh, excuse me, Kanto Muck in the back. Almost said Alolan Muck. We're so used to saying that, but Kanto Muck uh, must not be forgotten as it is quite powerful and often outperforms its Alolan counterpart in many situations. And that is due to its diverse move pool in terms of charge moves thunder punch and dark pulse covers a lot in this meta but before we dive into the featured set of the video we are starting things off with some bonus battles that i thought were tons of fun and here we go steelix on the lead i'm thinking what the heck do i do with this thing kind of core breaks the mandibuzz uh kanto my core a little bit but we do have an amazing answer to it in the form of our g fisk and it looks like they're gonna throw some uh energy here in the form of a crunch as they make a play into a gyarados wow this uh they are revealing a lot here. Uh, coming in with this thing onto our G Fisk, uh, that's an indicator that they may be extremely weak to something like a Galarian Stun Fisk. And we are now grabbing shields on the second rock and sl rock slide, excuse me, from our G Fisk, and we will shield now. I'm reading that they are extremely weak to G-Fisk and that it can put in a lot of work on this team. So going for rock slide number three, and we grab the final shield from the Gyarados. It is fighting like heck to take us out, and we are not going to let that happen. Going to shield up this Aqua Tail, and we do outpace this Gyarados to these rock slides. So going to put it out of its misery as it is in rock slide range as we say bye-bye to the Gyarados. And now we will see what was hiding. And oh, it was a Dragonite, another flyer. Uh, this is a very interesting team. I don't know what they do with the Charm lead because although Steelix is a Steel type, it runs Dragon Tail and um, yeah, could have some problems. But that is all beside the point. We don't have a Charmer. They take us out with a superpower and we are actually gonna bring a uh, K-Muck in onto the Dragonite because during that Gyarados matchup, that mid-game matchup with our G-Fisk, I had an epiphany. I was thinking, uh, Mandibuzz actually doesn't do too bad against this thing because it's conventional moveset. Uh, is Psychic Fangs and Crunch. We saw that it revealed Crunch, so uh, it for sure has Psychic Fangs. Um, and we hardwall both of those charge moves. And with the bulk, uh, although they are lowering our defense with the Psychic Fangs, uh, it's not making much of a difference, guys, as Mandibuzz is about as tanky as it gets, especially if you put in the work and get that nice best buddy boost which we are uh best buddying mandibuzz for this team they aggro swap back in the dragonite we bank some energy and now it is kanto muck time yet again at this health range uh this dragonite can do nothing to kanto muck they can throw a dragon claw all they want we're just gonna farm this thing all the way down and leave with loaded energy to seal the deal against the steelix which is hanging on by a thread, courtesy of all the work that Mandibuzz put in, and we take it out, taking the game, Kanto Muck, putting in the work, closing the end game in dominant fashion. That's going to be a good game, well played. Mandibuzz can really put in the work, but if you guys are thinking about running this team and you don't have one, you could run Dragonite, Gyarados, or Obstagoon, and here we go. I had a wall rain lead. That's not a great lead, so we go into Kanto Muck here, and they're staying in a little bit. Going to go for the Thunder Punch. This is what makes Kanto Muck so effective in these very wall rain heavy metas, and they do tank that as they can. 
And a lot of Walrains absolutely love the bait, so we're calling this, not falling for the bait. They chip and dip into a Machamp, so very interesting. Um, could be double fighter in the back, um, as they do come in with a fighter under our poison type. But they did want to chip us down a little bit, and um, just in case they're baiting, we're going to let this go. Even if it is a rock slide, that's fine. It is, they take us out, no big deal. We can now come in with our Mandibuzz, and because we are running Air Slash, makes the farm down on the fighters quite nice. And uh, they do go rock slide. We tank that all day. Mandibuzz, absolute tank. Very bulky. And they come back in with the wall rain, of course. So it is G Fisk time. And going to go for the rock slide here and see what they want to do. If they shield, we know that we will have to start shielding because they are now real. They mean business now at this point. They're hanging on to that wall rain, and we successfully call the massively super effective earthquake. And no wonder they were shielding, protecting that wall rain. They had a flyer in the back in the form of Gyarados. We tank an Aqua Tail, no problem, and we are absolutely loaded on energy. Going for rock slide number one. And this could get the shield, but no, they let it go as they can tank it. But they're going to have a very, very difficult time tanking another. So I do imagine this uh, likely gets the shield, and it does. And now, because the switch timers were misaligned, got to take full advantage of that. We grabbed that final shield, and we had loaded energy. So we are saying bye-bye to the Gyarados. And uh, now that wall rain is left. It's getting low. It has no shields. Their play was to try and go for the full aggressive farm down. And Mandibuzz is not having that. As it takes out the wall rain, Mandibuzz closing the game in dominant fashion with a shield to spare. Mandibuzz, OP. Good game. Well played. This Mandibuzz team was really putting in the work and was a lot of fun. Uh, and here we go. Talonflame lead. Pretty neutral lead. Going to make a play in the G-Fisk. G-Fisk does very well against Talonflame despite going, coming in with a tight disadvantage. That's because we thoroughly outpaced to these double super effective rock slides and we grab a shield from the Talonflame. They bank boatloads of energy as they make a play into Trevenant. And this is why Mandibuzz could be so effective in this meta for these trevenants uh absolutely hard walls trevenant but again if you don't have amanda buzz you can you can still run this team with dragonite gyarados or obstagoon uh any of those three would work just fine as well but, uh, you know, we really put in a lot of work on this Mandibuzz. We have it, so we might as well run it. And we're just throwing rock slides. We shielded to uh, stall the clock a bit so that we could swap out of this, get back into Mandibuzz, take advantage of the misaligned switch timers. And we did bank a rock slide for that talent flame. We tank everything from Trevenant, as I mentioned absolutely hard walls trevenant uh there's nothing that trevenant can throw that will not be resisted by mandibuzz which is amazing and uh, we do take it out we've got loaded energy to put the pressure on this talon flame they go flame charge not a problem we go for our dark pulse uh not throwing with optimal timing here uh but that's fine we get we we will recover from that should have thrown an air slash before throwing that dark pulse but that is okay uh we are uh just tanking all of this damage we aggro swap and they were on to us uh expecting us to do that so they meet our stun fisk with the wall rain but uh it's not much better than talent flame especially when we've got loaded energy for the wall rain and can hit it with super effective rock slides and they're tanking everything likely putting all of the hope and faith into that talent flame and they realize they cannot farm down so they are forced to throw an icicle spear that takes us out so the play here is to come in with muck and farm this thing all the way down and really load up on energy stunfisk uh positioned us to uh be in a good spot here we do shield up the eq holy smokes they are going for the jugular here holy smokes they do still have a shield but we do have uh some energy to spare here going for thunder punch number one here and we try to catch the potential move here but they hang on to that energy Nice on them. Um, 
uh, showcasing some excellent discipline on their behalf. They go Brave Bird. We live that because Kentomuk is quite bulky itself. There's a lot of bulk on this team, guys, as we do take, uh, take out the Talent Flame there. Holy smokes. I was thoroughly impressed that uh, Kanto Mug hung on with so much uh, health left to take out that Talent Flame. But good game. Well played to our opponent. Had a blast with those bonus battles as we move into the featured set of the video. We are met with an Obstagoon. So, a decent lead for us. Not bad at all, really. Um, Obstagoon can only do neutral or resisted damage to us. So, uh, and, and the same goes for us as well. Uh, but uh, our moves have stab. We go for the aerial ace there. Doesn't do uh, that much damage, but uh, it's damage over time. It slowly but surely chips. We knew that this could have been a hyper beam, so we let we let it go either way. Uh, with a Pokemon as bulky as Mandibuzz, it's hard to shield, uh, even with massive moves like that. And they have a Nido King on their team. Holy smokes. Shouts to the Spice, and it's running the new uh, fast move of Double Kick uh, on top of that. And they go Earth Power. Holy smokes. At this point, I'm thinking, what is going on here? We saw the Poison Ground. Uh, when they aggro swapped and we saw that before we saw the fast move so we reacted by coming in with g-fisk that was that did not work out for us and they do farm down with their obstagoon and um because we tanked that hyper beam we're now not in the best uh spot here they can go for a resisted night slash here and actually farm us down Oh, I knew that was a hyper beam, but I didn't know what they had in the back. Uh, I suspected some sort of poison type, uh, perhaps for Obstagoon. Um, and uh, it's really bad because it's usually a Nido Queen. <laughs> and if they have a Nido Queen in the back, uh, it's lights out for us. They're just throwing these night slashes. And there it is. It is a Nido Queen. This is no longer winnable. Definitely could have won against this team. Just. The spice uh, just uh, took took effect on us and uh, uh, just hard to recover from uh, at this point. Uh, we just let this go. They're going Poison Fang for some reason, hoping like heck that they just put us out of our misery. Just going to throw this, and I do believe we do top left at this point. It's not happening. Going to save everyone some time and uh, just exit the battle. Good game. Well played to them. Oh, we got spiced on, and that last one fell on our face a little bit, but no big deal. Here we go. Shadow Dragonite on the lead. Um, pretty neutral. We're going to actually go into Muck here and see what they have in the back. They could have a wall rain in the back, um, but no, they... <laughs> The spice continues. What the heck is going on? So many people were running uh, the spice in these battles. It was quite fun to see. They've got a Samurott on our muck here. Um, and we do tank a Hydro Cannon. No problem. As we saw, muck is quite bulky. And of course, uh, we do hit this thing for super effective with Thunder Punches. Again, why I absolutely love Kanto muck. And they let it go. That is amazing. And uh, I'm going to come back in with their Shadow Dragonite. Maybe could have made it to the Dark Pulse. Generally, if you can only get to one move, you go for the harder hitting move. And we get the shield either way. So it's a moot point. They do farm down. They have loaded energy. Going to throw our G-Fisk in here. And um, we do shield because we know that they have a superpower and they bait us. Holy smokes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this Dragonite is so annoying. They're going to grab both of our shields. That's fine. Both of our two remaining bo Pokemon are absolute tanks. We don't need shields when we've got this much bulk. And, oh, it's a Trevenant. Lights out. They uh, quickly top left. There was no hope there, guys. If they have a Trevenant, it is lights out for them generally. Good game. Well played. Probably one of the bulkiest teams you could possibly run in this meta. It is quite nice. And here we go. A Lolan Muck on the lead. And it is running Poison Jab. So slightly better for them. Uh, but that is okay. Uh, all they can really do is go for the Acid Spray. And although it does lower our defense by two stages... <laughs> 
the Pokemon like Mandibuzz, it really doesn't make a difference. Uh, and gonna go for the uh, Aerial Ace here. Terrible move, but hey, you gotta work with what you've got. They swap out and do a Gyarados. So we come in with G Fisk, and this is fine. This is this is not a big deal, really. But ideally, in hindsight, uh, Kanto Muck would actually be the best answer to something like Gyarados. Uh, but this is absolutely fine. As we are resisting this fast move pressure, we definitely tank an Aqua Tail, no problem. And we do outpace and going to go for the Rock Slide after they go for another uh, Aqua Tail. Not a big deal. We do still resist this fast move pressure. It does not have Stab, so they're going to have a hard time farming down. We've got back-to-back -back Rock Slides. If they want to go down two shields to maintain alignment, by all means. But no, they cut their losses. They let it go. And we win. Switch. Amazing. G-Fisk. Very nice. And here we go. Another uh, Dragon Tail user. This one in the form of a Dragonite. Oh, so many teams. Weak to G-Fisk. It is quite astounding to see. We do grab a shield and they farm down. Uh, that is fine. So what we're actually going to do is come in with our Kanto Muck here. Pretty neutral matchup. And we can hit this thing for neutral damage. Quite nice. We are bulky. We definitely tank a Dragon Claw no problem and um they're staying in here a little bit so at this point right about here when we get to this thunder punch um i have a i come to a realization i know what they're doing guys they're trying to take out this uh kanto muck here so that they can uh just debuff us into oblivion with that a muck which is why we shield there preserving our kanto muck we're not gonna let that happen i i can see what they're trying to do from a mile away uh, if they get rid of our Kanto Muck, we don't have any way to clear these debuffs. Uh, and that's really their only shot to win this game because uh, we just out-bulk them, guys. Uh, it's So uh, saving Kanto Muck was the key here. This Alolan Muck is getting quite low. And again, all they can do is go for these ads and sprays. We are now debuffed to the max and it is not making a difference whatsoever. We get to another Aerial Ace. Mandibuzz is insane and they let that go. Putting the hope and faith in the Dragonite. It's getting quite low in the play here now. It's just to farm this thing down with poison jabs, with stab. They saw the writing on the wall. It was not going to happen for them as they could see the match. Good game. Well played to our opponent. If you guys really want to rack up the wins in the Ultra Premier, this team might just be for you. And here we go. Another Obstagoon lead. Going to stay right here. We do have another solid answer to Obstagoon in the form of Kanto Muck in the back. But we don't want to risk uh, having it find its way to our G-Fisk. So we're going to chip this thing down as much as we can here. And uh, go for Aerial Ace number one on the Obstagoon. They are running Cross Chop, so that's fine. And uh, it's now in a manageable range. Just in case there is a potential Swampert in the back, we want to draw it out with Kanto Muck uh, at this stage. And um, they don't have one. They have Dragonite, so uh, that's fine. Um, because they don't have a Swamper, we are fine to just soft lose this mid-game matchup here. Do as much damage as we can. They do tank the neutral Thunder Punch there. And even though this is a Shadow, we do still tank a Dragon Claw. And we're going to try. Oh, we just could not quite make it to that second Thunder Punch. Would have been nice to get there, but my goodness. Shadow Dragonite. The damage output on this thing is absolutely insane. They go Dragon Claw here. We let that go and we farm down. And uh, now I'm going to see what else they have left in the bag. It's got to be something that can protect Obstagoon from the fighters. <clears throat> So uh, I'm reading that there's a Nido Queen in the back. So if that is the case, we are in a good spot here. We do get a shield from the Obstagoon, but it's still a little too healthy for our G Fisk. So going to shield our low health Mandibuzz and try and get off one more Aerial Ace. Uh, if they tank this, that'd be great. But if they shield, that is fine as well. They let it go. So it's G Fisk time. It's in the red. G Fisk is about to put in the work. And there it is. We read the team like a book, my friends, and we've got the energy lead. It's a Nido Queen. A lot of people would bait here, guys, but we're not baiting, and we're nearly one-shotting the Nido Queen. You'd love to see it. 
And uh, gonna call this, guys. Even if it is an Earth Power, we tank that. No problem. Just a bait. Not gonna fall for that. And uh, right here, we kind of got caught up, and we we ended up shielding a Poison Fang. Uh, that's unfortunate. You never want to shield up something like that, but that is fine. The Obstagoon's hanging on by a thread, although our defense is severely compromised at this point. But we tank it. G-Fisk, about as bulky as it gets. Gonna go for a rock slide here. That's all we really need. We do get the shield and now gonna swap out uh, to clear that debuff. Manda Buzz gets some air slash damage in and all we need is one mud shot. We do live a cross chop without stab from Obstagoon. We got that mud shot through, which means that we take the game. That was a close one. Very fun and exciting battle, but G Fisk reigns supreme in the end. Good game, well played. Oh, this team was so much fun because it's so darn effective in this meta. And when you're met with something like this, uh, we've got a Swampert here. You stay right here. You don't go anywhere. You stay right on this Swampert until it is gone. Uh, Mandibuzz actually performs quite well against Swampert. And the reason why is because... We are double resisting this fast move pressure, and it doesn't do very much base damage to begin with. So uh, Mandibuzz, uh, with the bulk, performs amazingly up against Swampert. And of course, when you have two Pokemon weak to Swampert in the back, uh, it's quite nice. So uh, they're just going Hydro Cannon. That's all they can really do. Uh, you'd be hard-pressed to find a Swampert running Sludge Wave in an Ultra League format. Um, just because there are so many ghost types, uh, Earthquake is definitely the way to go. And as you can see here, we win. We've got a clean victory over Swampert in the Zero Shield. And that is a major obstacle out of the way as we make a play into Stunfisk. They've got a Wall Rain in the back. So Stunfisk, as we all know, performs beautifully against Wall Rain. Gonna go for Rock Slide number one. They always tank the first one as they absolutely can, although it is super effective. That's just how insane Wall Rain is and they bait us with an icicle spear that is unfortunate i don't know what it is about uh wall rain uh, trainers now after the nerf but it really seems like they bait a lot more than before the nerf but maybe that's just me uh, so we are down a shield, not going to shield this, uh, and they do boatloads of damage with an EQ, not a big deal. Going to really put the pressure on this thing and threaten the KO with a rock slide, and they let it go. That is amazing, and they've got a, an Alolan Muck remaining in the back, up a shield, holy smokes, battle of the Mucks. Let's see who reigns supreme in this matchup here. We do go for the Thunder Punch. Of course, that's all we can really do. Um, and uh, they, they, of course, can hit us with the Dark Pulse as it does hit us for neutral damage. And uh, going to just keep going for these Thunder Punches here. The question is, at what point do they start shielding, guys? We did preserve our G-Fisk. That was calculated, guys, because if we can get this thing low enough... G-Fisk is healthy enough to really put in a lot of work with mud shots, guys. And that is because we triple resist the fast move pressure. And it does take Muck a little bit of time to get for that, get to that hard-hitting Dark Pulse. And we are now beginning to grab shields. We've got it into the red. That is what we wanted to accomplish. Because as I said, we've got a plan in mind for this muck here, guys. Our G-Fisk is still super healthy considering uh, the fast move pressure. And we got in a lot of mud shot damage. They are now forced to throw, which will absolutely KO. But the damage has been done. We just need one air slash to take it out. Oh, you love it when a plan works out as Mandibuzz closes the game strong. And that is the team, my friends. How about it? Mandibuzz, quite effective in the Ultra Premier. Um, and that, again, because it has a lot of very strong neutral matchups, as we saw in that uh, last battle there. Uh, it beats Swampert and the One Shield performs beautifully in this meta. Uh, again, you just really, really have to protect it from those pesky charmers. That is its one Achilles heel, really, in this meta are the charmers, and which is why this that's why we've got these two Pokemon in the back. Both Pokemon resist charm damage and perform amazingly well against charm. And uh, if you can get that out of the way, you're going to be doing 
a-okay with this man of us team and again guys um uh, if you don't have Amanda Buzz and you want to run uh, uh, this team, again, you can run Obstagoon, you can run Dragonite, or Gyarados. All three of those would serve as excellent replacements if you don't have Amanda Buzz. But guys, I had a blast. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, I thank you for watching, and keep up the grind. Thank you, guys.